Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Operation Deadly Omen. Oh. I'm Camille Salazar Hadaway, here to give you all the details on the first season of year nine of Rainbow Six Siege. Year nine, I bet. bet We've bet. got some big updates well, to okay, shake up the meta, on. a sinister new operator, and maybe even a special guest at the end. Oh, Let's jinx, not it, jinx yeah. it. To get us started, please welcome creative director Alexander Karpazes. Right, it has to be him, right? It has to be. I mean, she did say jinx it, so. Hmm. Year nine, season one starts with a bang, and it's all about Operation Deadly. Oh, yeah, work shield, You'll bro. see huge meta shifts this season. Oh, f dude, this is gonna be rework, this is gonna be huge and calm. to the attachment system mm -hmm. and much more. The locker system is being introduced. Wait, a new what? way to manage your inventory. The next operator Demos. joining our ranks is Deimos. Now that, that guy looks like a beast. By Team Rainbow, he won't be joining them, just like me. but he will be playable. He looks like Ghost. We can't wait uh, Ghost for you from, to see uh, more about him. On top of all of this, from, we're uh, adding something God. special to the ranked rewards this season. A rare. super rare well, gear it's rank for those of Everyone's gonna have that shit. the ladder and show it off. <laughs> what? The, the gold headset, uh, the headgear, if you're gold and above. After proving its metal on the test server, the revamped shield mechanic is ready for prime time. Game director Joshua Mills is here to present this huge change and talk Orc about shield. the new tactical possibilities of shield. Uh, now this, I remember playing this in so with right the other that, pros. I'd love to take the opportunity to again thank our community for good? checking out our lab test server. Um, so why are we changing the shield? I, I, actually, I don't the even remember that much. The shields had something mm. that I saw a comment for this and I thought it was perfect. It was headshot lottery. That's kind of what the hip fire sequence is, where it's just a random headshot can catch you and does not feel good regardless of what side of the shield you're on. With this package, one of the big things was to make sure that every action a shield operator can have no, this follows just makes a very simple principle. So much easier with blitz. Be defensive. Be defensive 90% of the time. If you yeah. want to be offensive, I think then you I got like to give change. something for that. Then, this is the idea that reloading behind the shield <laughs> is now safe. But if you want to go for the kill and you <laughs> want to use your weapon, yeah. you have to open yourself up. You, you have, have to come on. Obviously, yeah, reinforcing the, the fantasy the of being the tank of yeah. your team. We want you to be able to be in that front line. We want you to be able to have like a way to the territory. And ultimately, we want you to feel powerful. Right now, we're focusing on the ballistic shields. So this is Fuse. Blitz, Montan, when the shield is not extended. There's a bunch of new things that you can Damn. do. One, you can break yeah, through full health that's... barricades. What the f***ing fly through windows. And it does damage. You can reload exactly, behind the shield. Additionally, you can activate triggerable gadgets from behind the shield, as well as deploy your throwables. You will actually move the shield just a little bit to make sure that arm that gets out there. Wait, 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 wait. We, gave, we gave feedback, the, the pros saying that we don't think like you should be able to jump fire. through this barricades and stuff. Wait, jeez, did it just go, can, did it still go through with it? <laughs> Damn. Bro, because I remember I sat there with the devs for like a long time. And it was us, it was M. Matey and LG. We were both sitting there like, we don't think it's a good thing. So let me see if it's actually in the game. What the hell? Key Cork. things you can Yo. do to start coordinating with your team or setting up for the flight. Yeah. yeah. With the new addition of the defensive melee, this allows our shield operators to get up close and personal. Something, generally speaking, you don't want to happen. But if it does, you're not out of options. It's important to recognize that whenever you do get hit by a knockback, you have a window of opportunity in which you can light up that shield user. Maybe shoot them in the legs, do something in that reaction. But again, not a position you want to find yourself in. So it's best to use the suppressor fire to keep them at a distance and work with your team. Do you remember if so this is the foundation of our shields going or... forward. It sets us up for the opportunity to mm. revisit different parts of our shields, including our extended shields. Oh, we'll have a little wrong. bit more to talk about later this year. All right, let's see. Updates targeting ranked mode and anti are on the way. And here to tell you more are associate hold, hold, hold. producer Damn, Killian Tala and player protection oh, and game security director Emmanuel Reed. That's the word, yeah. <laughs> With Deadly Omen, we are introducing new restrictions to play rank. Rank is our most competitive playlist, the place where you compete uh, against yeah, other players based on your performance and like skill level. Boring. The restrictions target two different groups, returning and new players. Siege is a constantly evolving game. The meta changes, there's new operators, new maps, balancing updates, or even gameplay addition. We know it's not a good experience to be with someone in a team who is not aware of the latest game updates. From now on, we will consider a player as inactive when that player hasn't played any regular PvP match for an entire season. 
when coming Damn. back, the inactive player will need to rediscover the game by winning oh. five quick match oh. or standard matches wow. to unlock five access to the guys. The oh other section is <laughs> A new player is any player who hasn't played rank before the release of Deadly Own. From now on, besides the clearance level 50 requirement to play ranked, the new players will need to have in their collection at bad. least 10 Bro, attacking that, and that 10 defending weapons. The, the focus it, no? of the new restrictions is to preserve the competitive I mean, integrity of rank while enhancing the experience for those players. Damn. I, think about the... I still think level 50 is kind of crazy that, until you can play ranked. It's an amazing lot, yeah. system. The but goal of it is accounts, to like... better detect and or act on cheater that are them. ruining the game experience of everybody. Steel. Right now, we are moving from an yes. old model to a new model that would be based on machine learning. Yes. This is a key update for our anti-cheat strategy. Get we will bad. have conservative yes. threshold to make sure that we are not impacting fair and regular players. We only want to catch cheater and the people that are ruining your game experience. We want to clean matches in a proactive way our long-term strategy toward cheating and ban on data will be exposed on the year nine overview player protection toward anti-cheat or player behavior are top priority for the project on siege in addition to accumulating razor sharp skills <laughs> and for the anti -cheat. <laughs> <laughs> siege players no there's no way they added that that's looks. funny so we've got a new inventory system to help you make the most of your cosmetic collection. UX designer Nicholas Joshua Klein is here from Ubisoft Berlin to introduce the locker. Wait, what is this? Let's see. New, new UI. We're excited to announce a new addition coming to Rainbow Six Siege, skins. the locker. Yeah. The locker adds a comprehensive way of browsing your entire collection of cosmetics. This Players is good. We'll be able to find their items in different categories such as appearance for headgear and uniforms or weapons for weapon skins, attachment skins and charms. Categories hold all items of that type for all operators and can be sorted by different criteria such as operator, name or rarity. Players will also be able to manage their items in more in-depth ways such as browsing the latest item category as well as marking items as oh, favorites. Oh, that's huge, that's Once huge. Once an item is marked as a favorite, yes, you'll be able to find it in the locker's own favorites category. That's good. As well as on top of your item lists when customizing your Big operators. Big W, yeah, huge W. Operators tab. Putting Ember the latest item my category favorites. lets you find no. any <laughs> item you may have received recently, no matter where it came from. In Operation Deadly Omen, Ooh, you'll want to take a fresh here look here. at your loadouts as big changes big, big. are coming to attachments including the return of a fan favorite combo. Which combo, you ask? To tell you about that, we'll need game designer Matthew Lacombe. MP5, no, gosh. there's no way that the, the holoset's gonna be that big again. With the Leoman, we're going to upgrade the ADS and the attachment system. We're going to bring this awesome gunplay and gun feel that we have in Siege, and we're going to make it even ADS better. So for the ADS, though. we're slowing down the time it takes for you to come from the IP to the fully ADS state. Oh yeah, this, this was the one thing I didn't like plan, playing in, in the new thing. It takes too long to ADS in. Yeah. These changes also allow us to have more creativity and but more then control you can use on laser what kind of bonus we can give to our it. Currently in the game, yeah. we have the Universal 1X, the 1.5, the 2.0, 2.5 and 3.0. In Deadly Omen, we're reshuffling them into four categories. We're going to have the Iron Sights, the Universal 1X, the Magnified Scope and the Telescopic Scope. These four new categories allows us to give them different bonuses. Yeah, so 1.5 is have removed. 10 Damn. The no more 1.5. Yeah, but they're, they're no no, they're, they're two zoomed into two times. You with a 2 yeah. zoom level. No more 1.5. L, L, L. I'm a 1.5 crush. I'm going to retire. I'm quitting. I'm over. I'm done. Section. As we're changing the optics section, the, uh, bad aim! Bad aim! Means that our defenders will have limited Damn. access to the magnified scope, no telescopic scope there. But on the attacker side, we'll we have access to magnified and telescopic Yo, scope on mostly all of our operators. Oh that my god, bro. Uh, Holy shit. We're back. So the laser, it's such a tactical object. It's this awesome attack. Everyone just started creaming in the stadium whenever they saw that. <laughs> Nah, sure for C, bro. A cog. Fire bonus into an ADS speed bonus. A 15% bonus. This is huge. 
but you'll have to be careful though on where you're aiming. Every pro is going to so run this. We have two categories that affect the time it takes to, to go in ADS. Yeah, does While that the mean counter is, angle grip is a bit redundant with in this case. Might be, might be. What we're going to bring in <laughs> Deadly Omen is a 20% reload speed. Yeah, this, this is the thing so that doesn't make any sense. Siege, well, last year yep. we came to reload. This is such an important How the new f are you going to reload faster with a different grip? That doesn't make any for sense. Attachment. Well, we have the horizontal grip, a new attachment that will be available. Oh, the horizontal grip is OP, by the way. I remember playing that shit. It's OP as Bonus. Yeah, so dude. If you want to zoom around, you get movement speed. You move faster, bro. <laughs> it's f***ing stupid, bro. You get movement speed with a gun scope, bro. It's crazy. Tons of changes to the attack. Yeah, dude. You move faster, bro. It's crazy. You try those, all of those new options around Genius because you have to try them out. Player comfort. All right, let's see. Fast leaning again. Thoughts? A big feature for player comfort Ooh. that's coming this season is pre-visualization of projectiles. The These are all the gadgets that shit? are throwable. When you're quickly oh, aiming, you'll have this a is bomb shit, bro. trail. And when what? This Yo, is no, that's huge. Design. That's huge. No? For Yo, experienced man, players, what is this? I think it's, this I think it's bomb, bomb, bro. I, I, think I, don't think, I don't think, I don't think this, this, this should be in pro in, uh, in, in like comp and rank though. You should not have this in like... It gets caught on a window ledge and now you hate yourself. What the we have a lot of gadgets that are throwable, each with nah, its own that should not be in ranked though. This should not be in ranked. And this Ooh. gives a lot more confidence a and a lot shit, more bro. power yeah, to the player dude. to do the strategy this should that not, they want to This do. should not be in... And for those of oh, you let me just who don't have the system turned on, Guys, there's always hold. an option to toggle it off as well. <laughs> hold on. No, lineups are going to be so more common now. Yeah. People are going to have their drones in like every game siege, and, and it's one that's very unique to us. We want to improve it and make sure oh, that it's a lot more same. responsive, especially no. when it comes to approaching no. and exiting repel. Making sure it's a lot I thought, snappier, I it was faster. it's more intuitive, oh, and it gives faster. you the power is, to actually yeah. play on a wall and take an objective. And we've done some work on the mocap side as well. Oh, that's Wait, better. Making sure you that still it feels right cafe. and also it looks right. <laughs> the when you're up last season in operation deep freeze we introduced versus ai and the oh. training please promise. please this season we're expanding these modes significantly nice 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 With nice that's AI good that's good additional operators yes sir and more maps this is good that's good the dev with those details is technical architect that's a w actually that's a big w like they're they're like expanding on like the the map training and shit and like the shooting range and stuff season for the versus ai playlist we're adding five new maps to the playlist, meaning players can play against the AI in okay, Shelly, I, Cafe, Bank, Consulate, I mean, you already I mean, did the versus AI ranked, playlist so. was introduced last season with Why, one you already get to play versus AI on game day versus, uh, this season, we're adding name, five but, uh, new maps, uh, and the AI will be able to <laughs> play as... Oh, <laughs> wait, I got ninth place last stage, actually, now. never mind, it's me. On top of that, we're running six <laughs> new operators that the players can play Bro, against AI. Bro, that AI is nasty, what the Players will be able to use Ash, Finker, Book, Jackal, Lion, and Iana. Yo, the end of season one Acorn? isn't just about new content. The AI will be getting better and smarter. And more importantly, they'll be less easy to bait. We've analyzed really? how they play what? against players and improved our models and our behaviors. Yeah, so everyone is getting pretty much echo. Yeah. I think all the attacks, the AI most of the attacks are going to happen. Not the only feature Holy that is content drop. That's crazy aim. The Bro, you killed him, right? Bro. Last season as Bro. What rank is that guy? What rank is that guy? This season's yes. operator yes. balancing yes. target. Yes. Is fuck the zombie. I already knew this. I already know that all the changes too. You want me to leak him? David Perpignan. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to play a zombie bathroom on shallow anymore, little boy. All right, dude. All right. The map has changed all the time since playing Siege. She's brought new gameplay and that was actually my bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my bad thing. Situations yep, for yep. attacks. Yo, guys, the guys, first yeah. one is that keeper barriers can be deployed from afar, and this is okay. causing yes, attackers down. to have issues destroying them. And the second one is that explosives is are being jumping up and down right now. And this is causing what? a lot of stress Willy. on attackers Prices for the gold lineup and up also on, RC, guys. on the explosive yes. From are now on, keeper barriers will be vulnerable to bullets. Let's get engaged. For example, the 556 bullets. To destroy uh, a keeper barrier. The 417 DMR uh, yeah, will require 11 bullets. Yeah, and the supernova shotgun the, the will require only three shells. Invaders. Three so shells on the supernova? Oh, it's, it's, 
No, it's not that's like not it's not it's not how many bullets it is per person. After it's because team will team will do it together. That we need on year seven, yeah, LMGs have become less and less used by the players. We want are so to deploy shit. a set of changes oh, yeah, that are based the on the DZ's actually jumping up and down in their fucking chair right now. are heavy weapons capable of offering great support fire. We choose two main changes you for this patch. The first one is that we will review every recoil uh -oh. on LMGs and make uh -oh, them I'll easier to control. Uh -oh. You should expect a recoil yeah. in between what we oh had in year 7 and That's what good. we have right That's now. W, bro. The second change is that LMGs will make no, no, operators LMG move 10% slower. Remember that with religion or attachment, or there is until grid that will help you to... This is the best script. So this can help you to counter this change. This change is to inclined players to play LMGs more like a super weapon rather than an entry kill Oops. weapon oh my god demos now it's the time operator. to meet the operator who gives Have operation deadly omen though? its ominous name demos joins the attacking team armed chat, lock in chat lock in demos demos this is the king right here dog shit op <laughs> demos is not a new character to the world of Siege. This is somebody that we've been working on for over a year. Over a year? All right, this guy better be some beast then. This character had teeth, that he still remained a villain even when he was captured. All right, they've worked on him over a year. Let's see. That half cape. We wanted him They're to mask his identity. They're basically copying Ghost. He's inspired God. by Bass Reeves, a historical Kinda. character who could be a sheriff. What the f***? I mean, he looks insane, chat. I'm not gonna lie, he looks insane. I'm not thinking of tier one. When it came to the mass. Chat, he, he does look insane. That kept all of the players guessing who he is. And we went through a dozen of masks that fit the profile of somebody who is always thinking, who is very strategic, and who is going to challenge Rainbow. Where's the number 1.5? No, number 1.5. comes from the US military. It's only 2x now. Which has developed a type of uh, nano flying drone that we always wanted to introduce into Siege. These uh, are flying machines shaped as small helicopters. And they are very fast, hard to see. And uh, they can scan and spy quickly what's going on around and detect an enemy. We wanted a device that could create a link between him and his target. And what the uh, piece of technology was the perfect Bro, it's a drone. And That's crazy. Beware, because when you see this flyer, this is just a matter of time before Holy the shows. Holy dude. One by one, every operator Wait, bro, look, looking mighty That's fine the right there. Damn. He made his devastating first appearance last year. This is UAV? Yes, dude. Demo specializes in hunting down his targets with ruthless What the fuck is that gun? What the fuck is that gun? He's bringing a collection of small probes shit. called Deathmark oh Trackers. Oh, it's a 1.5. These little machines it will seek out their targets like no matter yeah. where they are on the map. Holy shit. And it's relay their cool. location to Demos and what only to Demos for a period it's of time. perfect tracking. Of course, it can't be said it's, that yeah, Demos isn't the sporting This sword. is actually broken. While Demos' Deathmark Tracker is active. Wait, what? They'll reveal his own position to his prey. Albeit with slightly less information. But the He'll also restrict himself Yo, to his custom revolver for the duration of the hunt. Though as what the victims fuck, soon chat? Find out, Yo. That's hardly a disadvantage. How do you get rid of the bee on you, though? To use a death mark, Deimos first needs to identify a target. He can do this by having him or his allies scan enemies or their gadgets during the prep phase or action phase. This will add them to Deimos' target list. Deimos can cycle through targets using the alternate ability. Wait, that's OP, operator. no? Once Deimos has his target, it is, it is, it is. you can it's use the ability just, button you, you, you to toss just, up one of his death marks and start the hunt. And then have your, like, drone or Deimos that's so OP, what the fuck? It is, bro. Dude, that's so broken. Will accumulate more. Do you know how easy it is? Dude, no recoil gun too? What the fuck? The will take a few seconds to Wait, this is broken. Bro, do you know how easy it is to scan someone in prep phase and that guy can just fucking activate it in mid-round? Bro, what? That's OP. Continue so long, until either the timer runs out. Yo, or this this offer is gonna be. Or the target. Dude, sure no. That said, if yeah, but they can't like be mute. Matchup, like imagine roaming against this shit, dude. Oh, no, you can't roam. Like you gadget. literally, you can't do solo roams anymore. Hunt, on, on combat, Deimos has two primary options. They're just gonna the scan you on prep phase, and then Deimos is not even gonna take the fight. No, listen, you have to do mute roams. Like that's the only way. For when all you need is to just rain down bullets on the enemy. Or vigil, or vigil, Alternatively, he can bring the M590A1. Just pick a shotgun. This is the SAS shotgun of choice, and a personal favorite of mine. This gun is great for making rotates. Or for a quick corner peek. This game is finished. Real prize though 80, 80 is the damage, big iron the on Deimos's hip, the 44 Vendetta. Damage, by the way. This brand new the revolver Regal, is Deimos's signature weapon, and it it's easy to see why. What the fuck? 
Can in he? the veterans' hands, no it's a fast, it's the DMR. accurate, it's DMR. and deadly yeah, it's machine DMR. of death. Two shots from this gun oh, is more than enough to kill DMR. anything that moves. <laughs> he has a pocket sights, DMR, nah. And high mobility, Dude. it'll make sure to take down oh, anything shit. in Deimos' path. Okay, Deimos crazy, comes equipped right? with either oh, frag grenades or hard grenades charges. What the frag synergized great with his death marks, allowing him to flush out enemies in entrenched positions. He's so hard, wait, what? Hard breach charges allow Deimos to bear down on a site once he's secured Wait. an area. Either way, Deimos will make sure that no one can hide from him. Deimos is a two health, two speed operator. His balanced approach is made so that he can push aggressively on the enemy without having to worry about taking a stray bullet Bro. or two. Deimos' ability- Can we stop with making like utility where you're but always like, also where this ba it's basically provides. like Warlike? Can we stop with utilities like that, chat? I'm not a big fan. Either as bait or as a misdirect. Why can't we? Why can't we make like another vert operator? Like make it like another sledge kind of operator. You know what I mean? Like why do we have to make like wall hack operators? Like lion, dokebi, like you know what I mean? Like. But if you coordinate with your team and share that intel, you can get a lot of Dude, it's gonna be so broken and can't, bro. Oh my fucking god. Blitz or Ying, they would all be perfect for that job. Demos might be able to hunt down operators, but smart defenders will also protect themselves with traps and flanks. Operators who can anticipate or disable traps like IQ or Thatcher and flank watch operators like Nomad and Gridlock are great additions to make sure that Deimos doesn't have to worry about additional variables on his hunt. Deathmarks are small and fast, making it nearly impossible to avoid once they've found you. However, with the right tech, it is possible to hide from them or avoid them entirely. Gadgets that disable electronics, yeah, such mute as mute jammers, yeah. two brow zoto canisters, can help mask an operator's presence, hiding them from a death mark tracker. That's so like it's so all too late and already getting tracked. You ban mute, these devices can still track help you, everyone. though they'll only last for the duration no, bro, of the disabling like it, effect. Nah, nah dude, disabled, nah, that should, that should not be a thing, bro. That should not be a thing. Right where it left off, Vigil is uniquely suited to dealing with demons. His ability to deny intel also applies to death mark trackers. Deimos is a terrifying like a, like, like a grim accurate His ability to control the flow like of like battle that, you means that people. nobody is safe. No, look at this. When Deimos like... is on the board, he's a problem, Damn, and he crazy. needs to be dealt with. Vigil's gonna be now back. that you've gotten Vigil's all the details back. from the devs, let's get some e impressions from the special guests. Someone in the community who's KJ, played X a lot of XJ, thank you for Prime. And recently played yeah, he will be nerfed for sure, bro. He's gonna be nerfed. Please welcome Jinxie. Junko! Let's do it. Junko! Sick ass gun. When he's in the right hands, he could be a 10 out of 10 operator because it's going to have that double. Junko! Effect, right? W. W's in the chat for Jinxie chat. W's in the chat. W's in the chat for Junko. can actually call out where the roamers are. You can destroy roamers. And I can say his secondary was one of the most Grame. fun guns ever. Grame. Like I could make so many line of sights. Good aim, like Junko. Four walls, like long range. It was sick. Oh, Ace, baby, Ace! Oh yeah, this op's insane. This op's insane. Key to Deimos and what he promotes more than anything is communication and call outs. It's gonna teach players to actually roam with discipline because like recently the ranked meta, not pro league, but the ranked meta is just everyone running around. So that operator would actually shift the meta. When I yeah, that's a good point. When I found R4C ACOG was coming back, I almost shit my pants. And then like they even brought back Bok I, ACOG. I'm pretty sure he wanted to say he's gonna, he's gonna, he, he was about to cream his pants, but like, so he was thinking think about what words he was using. Pretty sure. Demos is so good. I'm out. <laughs> yo, yo, the what? Tests yo, there's no way that's the way he finished the talk, bro. <laughs> Until then, here's one more thing to celebrate. Happy Lunar New Year. Whoa, well, lock in, chat, lock in, lock in. What the fuck? Ying elite set? What the fuck? What's going on right now? Yo, Lily, what are they saying? What are they saying? Damn.